Hello, everybody. You're Lancey Peterson, Ride with Peterson. Today, it is Saturday, November 13th, 2021, and the time is 8.36 p.m. I've been thinking about my time as a rideshare driver, and I would say, other than the, fa the fact that I failed to achieve my financial goals, I enjoyed myself as a rideshare driver through the ups and downs, the good and the bad. Ultimately, I had fun. It was a great time. So I'm not afraid to, um, to return to being a rideshare driver. Um, granted, I have my disability I have to worry about. But um, I think I can make it work, at least for a week. I'll try it for a week and see how I feel about it. And I'm going to go on UberX, too. Um, and I'll just work strictly Uber. I'm not going to um, restart my Lyft account. It's, it's kind of disappointing because when I first became a rideshare driver, it's amazing. I applied to be a Lyft driver first and Lyft turned me down because I lived south of the 10 freeway. I, I, I couldn't believe it. You, In order to be a driver on Lyft, you had to live north of Interstate 10. I lived south of Interstate 10. Whereas when UberX became available, I signed up for UberX and they're like, hey, welcome to the company. And so the same thing seems to be happening again. I go online to, to sign into my Lyft account and my Lyft account is gone. I go to support, try to send a, 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 a forgot password link to the account. No record that I even existed. Whereas I go to Uber and everything is there from the very first trip to the most recent trip I took almost a year before I had my stroke, I was able to look at the earnings of every single trip I made as an Uber X driver. And so I'm, I'm like, wow, you know, Uber is actually making me feel valued. So while I was looking at my earnings. I was looking to see what my minimum, what the absolute lowest fare was that I was paid. I think it was like two dollars and thirty thirty three cents, something like that. That was the lowest trip I had ever been paid for. And for some reason, it clicked on my mind. I don't know how it happened or why it happened. But I started thinking about the driver in San Francisco. I think his, his name is Jay Crater, I believe his name is, or Jay Cruder. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, please, because I know I messed up his, wrong, his last name. And I realized why he was able to make the money that he did. The reason why I failed as a rideshare driver was because my plan was wrong. I was chasing the wrong thing. Everything I had learned and everything I understood as a driver told me 
that the way to make money as a rideshare driver is to work long hours and work long trips. The farther you drove, the more minutes you were on the road, the more money you made. And for a while, it seemed okay. I mean, but still, look where I am. I'm, I'm homeless, couldn't afford to get an apartment. But, so then I went from UberX to um, Uber Black and Uber Lux. Figure, okay, get a more expensive car, earn more money per mile, more money per minute. And still, I had failure. So, I had to re-examine everything and started at the beginning and thought about those drivers who were running around in the little cheapy Prius, picking up as many pool riders as they could. And something clicked in my brain. You need to change the value of each rider, the value of each trip. And so I went about and I set the most ridiculous rate possible for every trip, for every rider that I had. I set the value of every trip at one dollar. Didn't care how long it was, didn't care how many hours it took to complete that trip. My compensation for that trip would be one dollar. And I ran the math and it blew my mind. I mean, it really blew my mind. I, I couldn't I couldn't believe it. I said, I must, I must have made the spreadsheet the wrong way, or I, I must be missing something here. So what I did was I created this spreadsheet, and the first line is the value of each rider. The next line is riders each hour. You figure... If you're doing individual trips, the most riders you could expect to take in an hour is five. If you had a new rider every 10 minutes, you know, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 50 minutes, you start to cycle over again with the next hour. Then I added a pool multiplier. So let's say each one of these riders, you have an additional passenger with that, per with that person. In other words, what you did was you picked up one person and then you had a second person and the third person and the fourth person in your car, you had four people rolling around in your vehicle, but you're going, everyone is the same direction. Each rider from Uber and Lyft, each rider is considered its own trip. Then I looked into total number of riders each trip each hour, total number of riders each hour, then the number of hours I worked, and then I looked into the number of riders each day. And then the number of days worked, and then I calculated the number of weeks, the, the daily revenue, the weekly revenue, the monthly revenue, and the annual revenue. Very simple spreadsheet, fill in the blanks, do what you need to know. And so basically, 
I said it like this to keep it real simple. If I were paid $5 for every rider I took for the day, Five dollars, just five dollars for every rider. Um, and let's just put no, let's put pool because there were no people, just one person. I work ten hours a day. I work six days a week, four weeks a year. Four, four weeks, four weeks a month, four weeks a month, You're right? That meant if I did the, in a day, I picked up 50 riders, 50 riders. My daily revenue is $250. This is doing UberX, just picking up pool rides. 50 pool riders, Five dollars a pop. Daily revenue two hundred fifty dollars. Weekly revenue one thousand five hundred dollars. Monthly revenue six thousand dollars. Annual revenue seventy two thousand dollars. I'm like, wait a second. This this cannot be. This cannot be right. I'm. I have done something wrong. This spreadsheet is. In error. <laughs> I mean, no, this is, this is, this is, how could I have overlooked this? But I was so caught up in the BMW and the water and the, the treats and the music and dressing up nice that it completely flew over my head to look at what the value of each rider is. Because I had no problem putting in the work, picking up the people. So when I saw this, I'm like, okay, there's only one way I can prove this. I have to do it myself to see what's going on. So, Ulancey Peterson is going to rent a vehicle. It's either going to be a Prius or it's going to be an electric car. And I'm going to rent this car for a week. And I'm going to put this car on Uber X. And I'm picking up every single ride that comes my way. My goal, very simple is to do no less than 50 riders each day. We're going to find out if this is the real deal. Because if I make $250 a day doing UberX, wow, this is quite the lesson. Now, for anyone who would like to have this spreadsheet, I, even though I have an iPhone and I use numbers on, um, on, um, on iOS, I can export this spreadsheet to a, um, to an Excel spreadsheet. And I can also create a link so anyone who is interested in trying out this spreadsheet for themselves using their information can tell me if I'm if I'm correct if I'm wrong or 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 maybe I'm missing something um so I would love to hear your feedback on this one hey it's big enough to make me go and do UberX. So let's see. I'm I'm really hoping that this helps the drivers. And instead of trace chasing the trips at the airports 
and waiting on surges and waiting on incentives and bonuses that you that the driver considers looking cutting the value of each rider to the absolute bare minimum one dollar a dollar fifty two dollars and just focus on the raw number of trips the money will work itself out apparently because you got your per minute rate you got your pickup rate you have your um your waiting time rate i don't know everything seems to have, have changed since i last um did ride share every everything is totally different um, I don't even know what cars qualify for what anymore. I have to read up everything. Pool is here. Pool's not here. Who knows? They have new options. There's this, this Uber Green for the for the electric cars and hybrids. So I have a lot to learn, but I also have a lot of experience. And um, I'm curious to see what the feedback on this video will be, and what what those of you think about um, about this quote-unquote discovery I made. <laughs> All right, everyone. Um, as my mother always says, mm, have your best blessed day ever. And I will catch you on the next video.